Chapter 9 Creating Presentation Images In this chapter, we will see how to enhance the quality of any project view with the help of image fills, translucent fills, and gradient fills. We will also create professional presentation images using ARCHICAD's Lightworks and Sketch rendering engines. Step 1. Creating Fills In this step, we will get familiar with image fills displaying various textures as well as translucencies. We will also present gradient fills. Radial gradient fills can be easily adjusted using their circle handles to achieve smooth transitions between the displayed colors. Switch to the view map of the navigator. Open the first preset view in the Creating Fills folder. Switch off Grid Display from the View menu if it is switched on. Here, we have an elevation view of the building. We wish to create a presentation image of this elevation with color and without the technical drawing information such as grids and story levels. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Select the Fill tool in the toolbox. Activate the Fill 1 Favorite in the Favorites palette by double-clicking its name in the list. Make sure that the Polygonal Fill Geometry method is selected in the info box. Create a fill by clicking at the points of labels 1.1 to 1.9 consecutively to define the contour of the fill polygon. After clicking at label 1.1, Please make sure that the Straight Segment option is selected in the PET palette. When using image fills in ARCHICAD, you can select any texture file and the fill will display a tiled image of this texture. Zoom out to investigate the results. Create two more elevation fills. Select Preset Views 9.1.3 and 9.1.4. Use the same settings for the new fills. Click the points defined by the label arrows to define the contour of the fill polygons. Zoom out to investigate the results. Activate the next preset view in the Navigator view map. As you can see, this view calls for a different favorite than the previous three. Activate the Fill 2 Favorite in the Favorites palette. Create the fill for the curtain wall by clicking at the points of labels 1.1 to 1.7 consecutively to define the contour of the fill polygon. With the Fill tool still selected, activate the Fill 3 Favorite in the list. Fills can be created with any degree of translucency. The currently activated fill uses a 50% translucency. You can see this in the Fill Type pop-up list of the info box. Select the Options, Element Attributes, Fill Types menu to display the Fill Types dialog. Here you can edit the fill settings for all the fill types used in your project. Click the long horizontal button to have a quick look at the available fill types in the drop-down list. Make sure that the 50% fill type is selected. The translucency can be adjusted in the Fill Appearance panel. This value is set to 50, which means 50% translucency. Click Cancel to leave this dialog. With the Fill tool still active, hover your cursor over the fill you last created and shift-click it to select it. Select the Move, Drag a Copy option from the Context menu. Double-click anywhere to create a copy of the fill at the same location. With the fill still selected, open the Fill Selection Settings dialog by clicking its button in the info box. Open the General Settings tab page of the dialog and select 50% for the fill type from the pop-up list. This will change the fill type to a 50% transparent fill. Set the cover fill pen to 61 to change the color of the fill to light gray. Set the cover fill background pen to 0. The 0 fill background color value 
means that the fill will not have a background. Instead, the element behind it will be visible. In our case, this is the original image fill. Click OK to activate the changes and close the dialog. Press the Escape key once to deselect the fill and investigate the results. We've created a new translucent fill over the original image fill to achieve a more subtle display effect for the elevation view of the curtain wall. The curtain wall is now presented with a less saturated look. The blue of the other image fill behind it is not as strong as it was. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Activate the fill for favorite entry in the list. Make sure that the rectangular geometry method is selected in the info box. Create the new fill with two clicks at labels 1.1 and 1.2, which will define the two opposite nodes of the diagonal of the fill rectangle. Shift click to select the newly created fill. If necessary, use the tab button to toggle between the preselected elements. Activate the display order bring to front command from the context menu if the new fill is not visible on the screen. Deselect the fill to have a clearer view about the results of the last operation. Shift click to select the newly created fill and open the fill selection settings dialog by clicking its button in the info box. In the general settings panel of the dialog, activate the use distorted fill radio button. Click OK to accept this change and leave the dialog. As you return to the elevation, you'll notice that two handles appeared in the middle of the selected fill. These handles are used to define the position, the two main directions, and unit lengths of the distorted fill. With the fill still selected, click the origin of the fill axis handle. This is the point where the horizontal and vertical handle line intersect. Select the Move Sub-Element option from the Pet Palette. Move the fill origin to the left as much as you like, but keep it within the area of the selected fill. Deselect the fill to view the results of this operation. Select the fill again. Now click the end of the X-axis. With the Move Sub-Element option still selected in the Pet Palette, Move the end of the axis towards the right to define a new direction angle and unit length for it. Press Escape once to deselect the fill. Notice how the texture of this image fill changes and distorts accordingly with each change of the handle. Let's modify some of the existing elevation fills. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Open the Find and Select dialog from the standard toolbar. Click the Criteria Set Name button. Select Stone Image Fill from the My Criteria Sets part of the appearing list. The stored criteria will be loaded into the dialog. Click the plus button in the lower right corner of the Find and Select dialog to select all fills that match the loaded selection criteria. Modify the fill type for the selected fills in the info box. Click the fill type pop-up list and select the brown board's image fill type from the list. Press escape once to deselect the fills and have a look at the results. Activate the next preset view in the view map. This will display a closer view of the elevation. The horizontal wooden board elevation finish is clearly visible. Let's change this surface finish. In the Find and Select dialog, select brown board's image for the fill field. Click the plus button to select all fills with this fill type. In the info box, modify the fill type for the selected fills to brick running image. Press the Escape key once to deselect the fills, close the Find and Select dialog and investigate the results. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Make sure that the Fill tool is still active.
activate the Fill 5 favorite in the Favorites palette. Create a new fill called for by the two labels using the rectangular geometry method. This image fill is the same pattern as the other, but lighter to give a sense of depth to the elevation. Let us create the last fill in this elevation and get familiar with gradient fills. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Activate the Fill 6 Favorite in the Favorites palette. Create the fill called for by the two labels using the rectangular geometry method. Shift-click the gradient fill you just created to select it. There are two circle handles to adjust radial gradient fills. Click the outer circle handle with the Mercedes cursor to slightly increase its radius. Repeat the same with the inner circle handle as well. Deselect the fill and investigate the results. Radial gradient fills display a smooth radial transition between the two colors defined. Activate the last preset view in the navigator view map. Shift-click the previously created fill to select it. Click the common center of the two handle circles near label 1.1. Make sure that the Move Sub-Element option is activated in the pet palette. Click again at the point of label 1.2 to move the center there. Hover your cursor over the outer handle circle of the selected fill. Click this handle with the Mercedes cursor and start moving it. Click at the point of label 1.3 to extend the radius of the handle to this point. Hover your cursor over the inner handle circle. Click it with the Mercedes cursor and increase the radius of the handle until the point defined by label 1.4. Press Escape to deselect the fill and investigate the results. The center of the handle of radial fills defines the center from which the gradual transition extends in all directions. Within the inner handle circle, the fill is displayed with the fill foreground color. Outside the outer handle circle, the fill is displayed with the fill background color. In the ring-shaped area between the two handle circles, a smooth transition takes place between the two colors. This is the background effect we will place behind the building. Select the radial fill again. Activate the display order send to back command from the context menu. This will send the fill behind all other fills in the display order in this elevation. Finally, click elsewhere to deselect the fill. The elevation is ready.